it it sucks. It definitely, but I've always felt that way. It's a it's it's weird to just be up there and like most comedy clubs and venues, like they got security, but like no one's really thinking. You, you're taking care of people that might be too sauced up or that are just um, you know a distraction and and not in terms of like someone's going to rush the stage. And it, again, it does happen, but like. I've rarely seen, I mean, there's a kid up in Seattle I know that got hit at an open mic with a guy, he, uh, with a bat. And, um, I mean, dude, he was like a half a centimeter away from like just that being a wrap. And he had all these skull and brain surgeries and now he's living a, a great life and, and not uh, doing stand up anymore. Still doing it. Not as much, but yeah. But like just at an open mic, like a guy he wouldn't let on his show came back the following week because the guy was like awful and always be drunk and was like just being rude to people. And so he said, you can't come. So the guy came anyway and hit him with a bat. In his head. Yeah. And that type of shit makes me go, oh, yeah, there's nothing to stop. And this guy last night, like how do he get through? There's always... There's also it's so much going you're on. putting yourself out. Do you ever feel like that? Because you're always, you're always like people are heckling you and you're always you know, free, free balling, just yeah. going out there and just rocking yeah. off the cuff, off the cuff. And you say shit. You ever worry about, Oh, this guy just said that to him. He looks a little pissed. Maybe. And I'll, <laughs> I'll comment on that during the show to the guy. If that, if I truly feel like it's, but then like that just happened in Irvine a few weeks ago. And then there was this big guy named Gustavo that I was having some fun with. And so then it became a thing of like, Gustavo's got my back. If this guy tries to pull some shit, but, but, <laughs> but then I always try to kill it with kindness and make sure that I'm not ever. And that's the thing about my crowd work that I don't like that I learned from our boy Har- Harland was uh, a to listen and b uh, to not be a dick about it. And like hit the hit him and hug him thing. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, we all got to fuck with people. So get a little of that, but then like, you know, bring it in and be like, I'm just fucking around. You know, Harland is the, he says the, mo- I mean, he is the king of random shit. Oh yeah. I just, there's lo- only I one lo- of, no, there's only one Harlan Williams. Yeah. I mean, he's like, sir, have you ever uh, made love to a Dairy Queen, uh, <laughs> blizzard on a hot saturday night uh no well you're not living or you will yeah 